All right, y'all, we under the dash today. I think I figured out why my headlights aren't working. Um, I can't remember his name, but he hit me up on, on, on uh, YouTube. You saw my video on YouTube. He told me to check this switch right here. It's called the dimmer switch. But basically what this switch is, see that yellow wire? That yellow wire also runs to the headlight switch. So this little module or switch, it intercepts the signal from the headlight uh, switch that goes to the actual headlights themselves. And it's called the dimmer switch, but it's, I'm gonna pull the switch. Once you, when you pull your high beam, see how it's moving? You see that? This is what determines high beam or low beam. So apparently when this switch go bad, it cuts off all signal to the lights, period. And it's not even clicking. So I don't know if the rod's short, but I got a new one. Got it from, was it AutoZone? It's a Duralast part. I'll put the part number in the description, but it's straightforward, man. So I've got to take the steering column down. Man, the wiring under here is a mess, but I've got to take this bolt down right here and that bolt over there. And that way this will drop down and then I can get access to, I think it screws on. I don't know, we'll see. So let me go get my my wrenches and we'll get that down and uh, we'll get this switch swapped out. All right, y'all, these were, was it 15 millimeter? Yeah, 15 millimeter on the two bolts that held the steering column up. So now I gotta, got those two out. Now I gotta get these four out that holds this bracket onto the column. I think those are a 14, let me see. Yeah, those are 14 mil. So let me get that down. These are, these are actually 13 mil. This one wanna be a little, little badass. It won't come out even with the, with my swivel. A little universal uh, deal so let me uh let me go get a bigger bigger handle and see if i can pop that off we almost to the prize baby all right y'all so i got the bracket off now there's a couple of bolts holding the uh the actual switch in place and there it was well, actually one bolt it's eight millimeter it's right up. Oh, let me turn it. Let me turn the light on. All right, so I got this the old switch out, and yeah, this thing it don't even it don't even engage. So look, when you push it in, it's supposed to click. It don't click. Let me show you the new one. I see the new one. See that? So that's that. But yeah. It's the exact switch too. Look at that. So I'm about to go ahead and put this bad boy in. And this was the little bitty ass screw holding it in. Oh, eight millimeter. All right, so let me get this in, man. We should be good to go. Man, this little screw was a pain in the you know what, boy. But I got it in there now. Look, it clicks when I pull the the lever. Hold on. Okay, now nah, it ain't working. Hold on, y'all. There you go. Nope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me back. Hold on. How it's got the. See how it's got that slot? That's so you can push it up. So you have to basically push it before you tighten the bolt, because. That way, it's it going to have the foremost position. That way, when you pull the bright lever, it'll it'll engage properly. So, I'm going to hold tension on that while I tighten that little bitty-ass bolt where I can barely get my hand in. So, let me do that. All right. It's still kind of janky, but it clicks a little. So, let me go ahead and button everything up. What matter of fact, let me go ahead and plug the harness in. Yep, go this way. We'll give it 
is. We got action. Check it out. Still janky, but at least I got regular beam. But this switch is jacked up too, y'all. I gotta replace this next. So look, see, it's actually broke. It's broke in there. See, you can actually see it in there. So I'm gonna order that next. Man, I can't even get a good shot. But I like, I like, uh, yeah, bright lights. All right, YouTube, we all buttoned up. Shout out to King. You know who you are, man. I sure appreciate the tip. He told me to check that dimmer switch under the under the dash on the column. Well, he called it a uh, high beam switch, same thing. But he told me to check that, man, and uh, we got action, baby. Fog light, I mean fog lights, park lights, headlights, baby. High beam. Low beam, baby. So we all good to go, man. All right, YouTube, man. Penny LS1. Next thing I'm going to do is replace this switch right here. It's a, This is a cruise control wire. I don't need that. So I'm going to just get one without the cruise control. And I think I'm going to replace the turn signal. Well, it's working now. That's weird. But that's it for now, man. Penny LS1. Make sure y'all like, comment, share. And y'all need to go ahead and subscribe, man. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. Penelas 1, we out.